Hi, it's Brian from It's VRK, and today we're unboxing the pitch box from the Your 2 Motion Simulator. This is the center mount large plate. Quickly unwrapping. All right, checking all the surfaces, everything's in good condition. There was one la one little chip in the anodizing there, but it's on the bottom anyway, so I don't think that's a problem. This is the large plate bottom bracket that connects to the large plate just to make it a bit more stable, I believe. And also the inner force holes are where the central holder connects to. All right, now we have the power cable. This was really difficult to unwrap. I just went with scissors very carefully, <laughs> but luckily did not cut the cable. So just checking that's all okay. And that's an Australian plug, which is good for me. All right, so now we have the side rail plate. One of the easiest parts to unwrap and also a simple easy check no edge imperfections all good this is the emergency switch holder which is probably not required um, but it's a part you might be able to make use of it for something else in good condition no problem all right this is one of the design legs these were a bit trickier to unwrap you also end up trapping your hand while doing it this way, but it was the only way I could see to do it. Okay, so checking the surfaces, there was some small imperfections on this part. Uh, it looked like they rubbed off and it wasn't really that much of an issue. But again, this is the floor facing side of the part, so it's not really a big issue anyway. Checking all of the edges. Everything looks okay. I'll take this foam off just to check where the LED section is. So this plugs into the side of whichever platform you have on the floor. So in a two doff, it would be the pitch platform. Uh, sorry, the base unit. But if you have the rotation platform, then those feet would plug into the rotation platform instead. So here's the second one of the legs. Probably could have skipped this unraveling process for this one, but I was trying to show the entire un unboxing process. Or any of the cuts here are mostly where we just paused to give my son a rest from holding the camera for me. All right, checking all the surfaces again. Taking the foam off. Quickly checking the LED and PC board connectors on there are all okay. All good. Thumbs up. Okay, now we have the foot holder. Okay, checking all the surfaces, everything looks okay. What I did notice here is that one side of the foot holders poles had sort of more dints in it. So there was two dints there where I'm pointing. You see it a bit easier when I tip it up towards the camera and there was lots of micro dints on that side as well. But there's the two there and only one visible there. 
two there and only really one visible there. So there you can sort of see it in the shadow as I roll it up. I don't think it matters. Um, it'll still work fine. <laughs> right, we have the four point seatbelt. Just checking all the parts are there. Yep, all looks good. Footrest plate side supports. You need to connect these to the footrest pole and then you can connect the footrest plate and adjust the, the angle of them. Now we look at the fixings bag. Now my fixings bag had a hole in it and there was screws and washers and stuff all floating around inside the box. I've collected all of them and here is an image showing what's in there. So this is all of the fixings that were in that bag and in the bottom of the box. I don't believe I'm missing any based on looking at the, your documentation <clears throat> but I won't know for sure until I come to doing the assembly I will make these images available somewhere on the web as written documentation when I'm doing assembly or after I've done assembly and that should make it easier for you these are the plates that were in that fixings bag so we have the counterweight fixing disc the clamping sheet for flat cables which is on the pitch platform and then uh, pitch platform back panel. Okay, now we have the actual pitch platform itself. That's quite heavy, just so be careful when you try and lift it out. So as I was unwrapping this <clears throat> Along this edge, I noticed that there's some aluminium shavings here. They're a little bit sharp as well, so just be careful about that if you have them. Salt from your has told me that they've changed the process for this that should stop any of those shavings being there anymore. I also had these edges apart from each other. You can see it that there. I'm not sure if that's an issue yet. Uh, I have sent that to your uh, and kind of waiting to, to see if that's an issue i will probably go ahead and do assembly anyway um, and find out the hard way or the easy way maybe <laughs> by just doing it and seeing what happens uh, there was also aluminium shavings in here <clears throat> and when i tipped the unit sideways I'm about to do now. So when I tipped either side, so I think I'm saying the cables there are supposed to be there. They connect to the USB hub and the <coughs> um, smart plug, I imagine. So as I turned sideways, I heard little bits of stuff moving, which is more aluminum shavings. I also noticed that these screws weren't flush at the angle of the black strip. So you'll see as I tip it over and find a better way to illustrate this using a business card. So bang, 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 sticking out past the black strip. So as I slide the card, bang, hits, hits the screw, hits the screw, and then the next two are flush as I would have expected them all to be. And then when I go from the other side, it's basically a mirrored case of hits the screw, hits the screw, hits the screw, and then slides. That one may be touched a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm kind of going to wait to see if that's an issue, but that's the end of that unboxing. So stay tuned for the next unboxing um, and please like and subscribe. Thank you.